Hey, so uh, I am going to try to do a new project, kind of like I did with the music. Um, that's still going. I'm going to try and uh, do all kinds of stuff, like I'm going to play video games and every once in a while. I might do a jam session, or I might do um, like a book review. I'm going to do a book review. <laughs> kind of a book review today. Um, or I'll be like, I don't know if I'm going to get that far into it, but I might do like tech stuff. <coughs> or... Uh, I don't know, stuff about arcades, stuff that interests me. I need to find a new hobby. And, uh, you know, work's kind of stressing me out and stuff, so I need some sort of release. So today, uh, I'm actually going to do a review of a book I haven't even finished yet. Um, it's actually really good. So it actually has not been published in book form. That makes any sense? Uh, it's a web series that was created uh, over the course of a couple of years by a guy named John McRae. Uh, it's called Worm. And uh, being I am who I am, I really like uh, superhero stuff and powers and you know, all that type of good fun stuff. So this book uh, is, in a word, massive. Like, huge. If anybody has read um, anything like this, The Wheel of Time uh, by Robert Jordan, uh, that's, I think, like 23 books. I haven't read it. I just know it's a a long, I haven't been able to get myself into into reading something that large, <clears throat> which is kind of weird because that's kind of what this is. So the Wheel of Time is something like 23 books or 25 books. This web series is called Worm. Uh, it's something like 6,500 pages or 7,500 pages, uh, like 1.7 million words. I mean, it's, it's massive. It's huge. That's like the, the first thing I know of it. Uh, I found out about it on Reddit, which is cool. Um, I was in the books Reddit, and somebody was talking about, hey, you know, what's a good new book that I can read? What's a, you know, a new superhero book or a new pirate book or whatever? <clears throat> and this guy brought up Worm, and I was like, hey, what's that about? And what caught my attention, like, he didn't even talk about how big it was. <clears throat> he just talked about the way that the character's abilities are handled. So it's not like, oh, it's Spider-Man, he shoots webs, and he can climb walls, and he shoots bad guys, or he, he catches bad guys and stuff. This is more like practical use of powers it's not just this person can fly or this person is invulnerable um it is about a young girl named taylor but anyway she has the ability to control lower life so like uh, bugs centipedes spiders wasps flies fleas like all that type of stuff and she uses it in such a way that it's not just like oh you know she can climb the wall because she could she's like spider-man she doesn't have those powers she has the ability to control these uh, lower life forms so so i mean it's a huge book i'm not going to try to spoil anything i haven't finished the thing i've been reading it for months uh and on my kimble kindle uh it says a percentage like when you're reading and i have been reading for six months right altogether uh not including the, the separate time that I wasn't reading. This thing says I'm at 13%. 13% on this book. And it's huge. Uh, it, it's kind of like written sort of like the Game of Thrones books to where it's kind of, you have um, like the Bran storyline, you have the Jamie storyline, and the chapters aren't named like chapter one, chapter two, chapter three in, in Game of Thrones. It's more Bran, and then it comes back to Jamie, and then it comes back to Bran, but it's all interconnected. Uh, that's similar to the way Worm is. It's um, There's subsections with each uh, uh, part of the story that they're telling. Uh, there's interludes. There's one I'm reading right now called Buzz. And she's kind of uh, in the middle of this huge fight with a bunch of other uh, powered individuals. Um, but it's, it's really entertaining. Uh, it doesn't stop. Like, it's just really good action, constant action. Uh, and she... Like, the opening couple of chapters uh she had she's fighting this guy he's huge and he's like this really very really powerful guy and he's kind of like doomsday from the comics uh from superman comics where like if you hurt him he heals and he's like you know not necessarily no longer invulnerable to that he just like gets you know gets more powerful to the point where he starts growing armor and you know he has like fire breath and you know all kinds of stuff so she fights, starts fighting this guy, and she's like this 17-year-old girl that can control bugs. 
and she takes this dude down. Like, but it's not just like oh she she overwhelms him with you know spiders or whatever. Like they she can't do any damage to him because the bugs are just these little bugs and he's invincible, you know. But she's able to get insects into the cracks of his armor, <coughs> gets into his his uh, his eyes, his ears, his genitals, um, and she starts stinging. Like, you know, with spiders or wasps. And she just starts stinging the hell out of this guy. And um, a lot of really cool stuff happens. So like, I don't want to get too much into it. But that whole point of the practical use. It's not just, oh, she can overwhelm somebody with a bunch of bugs. She uses these bugs in a really, really cool fashion. And other people's powers. You know, there's the standard, like, flight and vulnerability and, and all that. But they're used very, very smartly. So I really like the way this guy writes. Um, it kind of, go, I know I'm kind of bouncing back and forth. It's my first review video of a book I haven't finished, but um, he wrote this book over the course of I think three years, and he <clears throat> he would release a chapter or two, I think a week, or maybe a day. I don't remember. Um, and if by the time it finished, it was this just absolutely massive <laughs> storyline. He finished it. And it's gotten all these kinds of great reviews from people that have discovered it, kind of like myself, or have been introduced to it, like myself. Um, but it hasn't been released, and it hasn't been published in book form. I don't even think it's on Amazon. Like, he actually, like, he didn't self-publish it either. He said he said on his website, uh, which at some point I'm going to place on here so you can check it out and give him credit. Um, he said that he would rather you read the book serialized, the way he, he meant it. But... Um, he was able I guess somebody took all of those snippets put it together into a book that you can read on a Kindle so that's what I got uh, so Mr. McRae sorry you know I'm reading it this way but it's a fantastic book trust me if you ever release these books I will buy them and I haven't even finished your book so um, it, it's really fantastic I read it on my Kindle my Urkin Armada Kindle uh, it's an old Kindle that I have but I really like it it still works great but uh, the book is called Worm by John McRae. Uh, again, at some point in this uh, video, I'm going to put his his blog or his website's name down here so you can check it out. I'll put a link in the comments, or not in the comments, but link in the info because I'm going to put this on YouTube. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, I honestly don't know how long this is. Oh, I've been talking for about eight minutes. Sorry. This is my first type of thing like this that I'm doing. I don't have a guitar in my hand, so I'm not. I'm very nervous. I don't know what to do. With, I don't know what to do with my hands. Um, so if you've stuck with this video and, and watched the entire review, thank you. Uh, make sure you check out Worm by John McRae. He's actually written a sequel called Ward, which I probably will not get to for about 20 years because this book is massive and I have a huge backlog of other books that I have to read or that I want to read. Uh, I wanted to do a review on my favorite book of all time. Uh, it's by an author named Arthur C. Clarke. He is known for writing the 2001, 2010, you know, 3001 novels. But he also wrote some really great books like the Rama series, like Rendezvous with Rama. Really, really good book. To where even a Star Trek movie kind of references it. Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Uh, that probe that comes into the galaxy or into the solar system and starts kind of messing everything up. That round kind of cylindrical ship type thing is basically what Rama is. Anyway, that's rambling about Rama. Um, my favorite book of all time is called Childhood's End by uh, Arthur C. Clarke. It's a very short book. It's, I think it's one of those 192-page deals, but it's really, really great. And um, it's been about 10 years since I've read it, so I'm pretty sure I've forgotten a lot of the details. I'm not going to review it other than, you know, I don't want to mess anything up or remember things incorrectly. They made a show about it, like a miniseries, and it was awful. It just wasn't a very well-made show. Thank you for sticking around. If you have, uh, this is book review, but index, whatever you want to call me. Um, hopefully I got some cool stuff in the works, musically, uh, video gamingly, whatever. I'm going to try to find out what I can do to relieve stress and so on. So again, thanks for sticking around. Have a great time. See you on Monday. Bye.